Welcome to yet another exciting edition of Hip Hop The Making. Today we are going to be talking to KG40 who is going to give us an update on his career and other related issues. Many people best know him because of the Sterek debut but there is so much more to appreciate and as far as KG40 is concerned. Hello Zimbabwe, I go by the name of KG40, real name Trevor Rufaro Gostino. Uh, I was born in Mutari, Dangamfura, the area C, Ukwadawasu. Uh, That's where I was born and raised. And um, I studied music at Mutari Polytechnic. That's where I did music. Ethnomusicology. Uh, shout out to you, Mutari Polytechnic. That's where I did my thing. But I had already started um, recording with C Bleach. Um, Grace and Truth Records, that's where I did a couple of singles. I mean, and then after that, that's when I moved, that's why I had to move to, um, to the greener pastures, you know what I mean, in, in Harare, right here in the, sun, in the Sunshine City. And then uh, that's where my journey started. Um, I started recording with um, Anon Zizanda, shout out to you too, uh, Rehab. Rehab. Um, I did a song titled Rudori Waviri with Nyasha Timbe. That's the first time that I met Nyasha Timbe. We did a record and it was playing all over. And then after that I did a track. Menonzi Thumbs Up Tony, Thumbs Up Up Tony. <laughs> with Tesh Mwanao Mai at Silver, record, at Silver Records. It featured um, Top Money. So I did it. So, so, so yes, we did a, a track here in Onzi. Apatoni. And then um, after that, I did another track um, with Spirit Fingers, you know, the show to the heart. I was singing on the track. That was the first time that I started singing and playing guitar on a song produced by Spirit Fingers. He did well too. But my breakthrough song, my first ever breakthrough song, was a song that I did with Trey Young. And the funny thing is, I'm the one who did the beat on it. I'm the one who did the beat on the song. Like, I made the beat. And it made it on the, um, on the Power FM charts. And it was on, um, on the charts for like four months. And at the top, top 100, it was on number 38. And wow, yeah. I love it. Shout out to you, Trey Young. Shout out to Mr. Noxa and DJ. Thank you very much. And then after that, but in the song, you know, it's Chimachiru Doso that I did. It's a favorite uh, to many. It's no one like it. Every time I say, What's your favorite song? Most people they be like, It's Chimachiru Doso. <laughs> Produced by Azain, the beat maker um, at Sonora Records. Uh, it also did well. A lot of my songs actually did well. Gotta thank God for that. And then, then this, there's this song, Ndierese. A song that I did with Shugeda, DJ Shugeda, uh, the one who's at National FM, featuring Mr. Noxa, Nyasha Timbe did the beat. That was the song that was nominated last year. Just imagine one song that got nominated like twice at the Zimi People Awards Best Gospel and Best Group. So, yeah, it has been great. And then there's this one, the big one. <laughs> static, 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 static. Yeah, featuring Mr. Noxa on it, um, produced by Mr. Noxa, and I had my cousin on it. He's the one who made the beat. Shout out to you. Willie Strings came in and played the guitar on the song, and the song is playing all over Zimbabwe right now. They're loving it in Zambia. I just heard one DJ saying that in Botswana is blazing right now. You might never know, we might end up doing a show in Botswana and um, as well as, uh, where else, in South Africa, uh, in Namibia too, South Africa, in Namibia. Shout out to Taps, he gave me the, the feedback. So yeah, it has been great. So right now, I have another new song, you know, the Tora Mari, she feel good song for the summer because I felt like, you know what, this is now time for, uh, for us to bring out my songs are Nongo, Tambika, Tambika, my feel good songs. But it's not just about the song being a feel good song. But uh, it's a motivational song, just like Static, 
just like most of my music, you know what I mean? Because I'm a motivational artist, even though But it says, you know what? Let's go get that money. Don't just sit around, you know what I mean? And cry, and be a cry baby. We hate cry babies. You gotta get out there, hustle, make sure that you feed your family, make sure you feed yourself, make sure that you look good. That's what's up. So yeah, that's, 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 that's basically KG40 for you right there. He recognizes hip hop as a culture, thus he relates this type of culture with his life. The way he was raised, the way he dresses, the fragrances he uses, the jewelry, among other aspects, are some of the factors to which he believes are hip hop culture driven. Um, hip hop, hip hop is a, it's a culture, it's a lifestyle, it's the way that we live. You know what I mean? It's not just about people just rapping. Rapping is also part of the aspects of, um, of hip hop. Because there's b-boy dancing, there's, uh, there's DJing, there's the clothes that we wear, you know what I mean? And there's um, graffiti, and then there's rap as well. So hip hop encompasses all that. That's the reason why I now have even my own perfume, you know what I mean? Steric perfumes. It's just to accompany the music because it's not just about the music, it's not just about the rapping. You know what I mean? It's also about what we wear. That's the reason why we make this. So that you get everything out there, you know what I mean? Not just the music. When you can't go music out, then you take um then you you, you buy my uh you buy the clothing, you buy probably the perfume. When you wind that cage you forty watch you AC. Yeah, so so that's what's up. And rap, uh, as for me, I started rapping when my, my, perf my, my, my parents divorced. When they divorced, I started seeking for, 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 for a voice, you know what I mean? Because I felt like, because I'm an introvert, I don't talk that much to people. Um, I usually think stuff. So I started, I started uh, writing poetry because my dad is a poet. I realized, nah. I mean, I need something else. So I started writing rhymes because I wanted people to feel my pain. I wanted f people to feel what I was going through. So to me, hip hop, it's a way of expression. It's a form of expression to me. Rap, that's a form of expression. So I express myself so that people feel me. So I was like, no, you know what? I'm not just gonna be, uh, it's not just gonna be me uh, crying on every song. But more like motivate other people out there, you know I mean, who might be in the same predic uh, predicament or probably they're just going through what they're going through. That's the reason why most of my stuff is all about motivational. Uh, I motivate people because I started listening to hip hop uh, when I was young. So, like I said, my parents divorced when I was only um, in grade six. So um, afterwards, I started listening to hip hop, and hip hop became more like my father figure. You see, um, because I, I didn't have anyone who would tell me what to do. So I'll listen to rap, I'll, ris I'll listen to Tupac saying, it's me against the wall. There's going to be a brighter day afterwards. I mean, I'm like, okay, all right. So that means I'm going through what I'm going through. Tupac went through the same thing. Kendrick Lamar went through the same thing. But look at him right now, he's big. And shout out to Mao Mao. He's one of the, he's one of the MCs that got me rapping because the first time I heard Mao Mao, Rapping mau 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 chini ko chino zumao ko tinga ba wana kupi ko be mau 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 was like word I can do this too so hip hop it's a voice um, it's a voice of the youth hip hop it's 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 it's, it's not just um, it's just the clothes ngo pega yembe it's very fancy but it's it's really a culture. KG40 says challenges facing hip hop artists are almost similar to those facing other Zimbabweans, economy related problems, as well as the absence of proper record labels. Yeah, the challenges that, are, that are, I am facing, um, first, first, first and foremost, is um, obviously, uh, it's the obvious one, the economy, because when you, when you have your music out there, people should buy your music because we're supposed to to live off this because this is my gift. My gift is supposed to make me earn a living. So we are having music out there 
is playing on radio. But one of the watch the music she on WhatsApp and also on download free, free download links. Why? Because people don't have money. People they don't have money. Sometimes they just want they want to support you. But just because they don't have money, um, and also the absence of um, of proper record labels, you know, because when you start uh, when you start doing music, people uh, you you're not just supposed to um, do it everything by yourself. Because I'm an artist, I should have someone who understands the business side of uh, of, of music. I should have also someone who knows how to market my stuff. But you see, I go in the recording studio. I record, after I record, I get someone who makes the album art, and after the album art is done, I, make, I go and make the CDs, make sure the CDs are done. When the CDs are done, I start hyping the track on social media, and after I hype the, the song on, 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 on social media, I have to go with the song to the radio stations, or probably if you have a manager, a manager will go with, the, with, the, with your stuff. And after that, you have to do follow-ups. You have to go to interviews. You have to hype everything up. But when, if there is a proper um, music industry, you, you realize that everything is done by a record label. You don't go to the to the dinner, you go to guys, you just go to the interview, then you just go to the interview, and then you, then you just do your thing. But right now, I do everything by myself. And not forgetting that I'm supposed to be yours. I'm supposed to be yours, I'm supposed to attend shows. I'm supposed to do all that. So you realize that, that's the burden that I have as an artist. You know what I mean? But I also like one thing about what's going on. What's going on right now, I see it in, in, a, in a certain light. That it's teaching me everything about the music industry. Because right now, how do you move your music? You know what I mean? So yeah, that's the bright side of it because uh, I look at myself as a, uh, as a, a future CEO of a, of a record label. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm It's really going down, I say. Picking all the bottles and you get no chance. I'm sorry if you had no chance to go fight. I take it till I'm telling you we got gas. We're throwing all the stuff through the window. It's really going down, even if it's deep through the pillow. Having a fine time with Chelsea and I'm a chinder. It's six o'clock, three minutes on the day, baby, we own. Fresh off the Matrix, yeah, I got the Neo flow. Been pulling mass drinks like I'm playing Neo so Party don't stop till six in the morning. Cool nine to live five. You got what I'm cool on your back at any third and don't go by the Luminati. I'm with Jetty getting a touch, but who knows shut the Nami? I shouldn't even rap, I'm an automatic Grammy, so I'm on. We'll be clubbing no night till six o'clock in the morning. We'll be partying no night till six o'clock in the morning. Till you go fire, hit it. Till you go stuck on your ting. We'll be partying no night till six o'clock in the morning. Till you go stuck on your ting. Till you go stuck on your ting. Till you go stuck on your ting. Till you go stuck on Welcome back to Hip Hop The Making. KG40 believes that there has been an improvement in the hip hop industry and he is happy to have been nominated as the best rapper at the Zim Hip Hop Awards last year. Right, um, so far, last year, that was the first time that I was ever nominated. Um, it was a big deal for me because I told myself that I, I won't go to the Hip Hop Awards unless if I'm nominated. So that was my goal. So I got nominated, I wore my suit, suit and tie, suit and bow tie, and I went there, you know what I mean, and uh, did our thing. It was great. Thank you very much for the, for the nominations. Um, I, I and uh, Shugeta, DJ Shugeta, and Mr. Noxa, we were nominated for best gospel as well as best group. So yeah, 
it was a big deal. And uh, as for the Theme Hip Hop Awards, or the Changamire Hip Hop Awards, shout out to you, Zimboy. Um, yeah, 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 it's, it's great we have awards. We have awards because you feel like, you know, when you're awarded, being awarded, that means that you've done something good. Um, you've done something good. You are being appreciated. So we really do appreciate the awards that are there. I think this is the sixth, sixth year running um, for the Senior Pop Awards, sixth year, seventh year. Um, yeah, that's great. And you realize that the moment you get nominated or you get an award, start seeing uh, other channels. One time I don't follow on my social media. So yeah, so, it, that's why we want. When you're sub submitting your stuff, you mention that they respect you. So yeah, that's what's up. But if, like just like any other award, sure, <laughs> there is controversy. Even in wherever, man, in the states, wherever, there's always controversy. So um, you know, time bigger. Uh, it's all controversial. But the more they get controversial, the more people talk about. Uh, you know, thanks. So, yeah. <laughs> Talking of albums, he was not focusing that much on releasing albums since he believes that when an artist is still on the rise, releasing albums is a waste of resources. Yeah, ever since I started uh, doing hip hop, uh, so far I have uh, so like eight, eight singles. Four, like eight proper official singles. But I've done a lot of music. I've done a lot of music, but um, so far I have yeah, eight, eight, eight to ten uh, singles. Why was I releasing singles and not an album? It's because you cannot put out an album out there when people don't know you. It's a, you'll be wasting resources, you'll be wasting money, at least that's what I think. Um, so I've been doing singles, plenty of singles. I realized that every single was opening a door for me. So now look at us, we are here now, now I mean, and now is the time for me to do an album. I'm already working on the album. I'm still thinking, say the Rogolons, nothing without, because um, I'm nothing without you, I'm nothing without God, I'm, not, I'm nothing without my family, you know, I'm nothing without everyone who's been supporting the grind. Or no going to in full circle, because the name 40, KG 40, 40 is the number that represents completeness according to Christianity. Um, that's like 7 and 10. So I'm not going to worry, it's 7, full circle. So I'm still thinking about that. But the music is already there, it's already there. Uh, I've always been making music. Um, yeah, it's doing now. So the first single to the album is Static, as well as uh, the second single, Turamari. So watch out for the album next year. It's definitely dropping this time. We all be. When asked about hip hop battles, he says, battles define hip hop artists. Every hip hop artist has to go through battles. Um, first of all, uh, if you're a hip hop artist, you have to go through uh, battles. I've been a battle rapper before. Um, I grew up in Mutari, man. Mutari was so full of, I don't know about now, but it was so full of. Um, energy hip-hop energy that every time we would meet in the streets because there were no recording studios back then every time you meet in the streets my don't go meet all them you start rapping to each other and i never blast i'm telling you word on the streets and i found but so fast it was like yo you were you you lost the battle bruh and uh you know what fortunately i didn't i don't have any battle that i lost so i started off as a battle rapper I would make rhymes just for battles. Just make rhymes. Plenty of rhymes. So yeah, I started off as a battle rapper. Shout out to Flexum Shawarukwa. Shout out to Technique. Shout out to Critic Igwe. Shout out to Scout of Felians. Now I mean that's how we started. And the new generation in Mutari, shout out to Flood Boy. Um yeah, and other new cats are coming up. But now, for now I'm like, you know, I'm gonna court stun. And the titties in my, in my battles, I could have Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. For now, I'm like, you know what? I'm now making music. 
just making music. It's now about the artistry, the artistry of the music. Something that you'd be like, when you listen to it, you're like, yo, this dude is talking sense. You know what I mean? Not just about, we are not going on. I just realized one thing that artists, we like, we like, we like colors. Someone like loves red, someone loves white, someone loves a little bit of uh, uh, brown, black, you know, but it doesn't necessarily mean that white is, is, is a better color or purple is a better color, but we all shine in our own right. So that's the reason why I was just like, you know what, um, my better rappers, you know, do what you're doing. I respect that because battle is also uh, part of, uh, of hip hop art and I respect that. But I was just like, you no, know, let me distance myself from that and start making music, you know what I mean? I love music, man. Come on, I play guitar, um, I play some other instruments. So I'm like, you know, why should I limit myself? Already, I have a lot in my, in my plate, so I wouldn't have to be like, no, I'm doing better rapping, I'm, I'm playing guitar, rapping on the guitar, I'm going in the studio, I'm also making beats, because I also make beats, you know what I mean? Using full loops and, and all that. So, damn, that would be a lot on my plate. But shout out to all better rappers out there. Shout out to Chi Guns. Shout out to, um, you know, when I flex on Shout out to Psychotech, Bulawayo. Shout out to you, my G. Yeah. He also thinks publicity stunts work for others, and he does not believe in using them so as to rise to fame. Yeah, in terms of publicity, like they say that uh, every publicity, whether good or bad, I mean, it's, it's good publicity. You know what I mean? So. To some, bad publicity works for them, and uh, yeah, it's good for them. But as for me, uh, come on, I'm a Christian. <laughs> I'm a Christian. I believe that if God gave you the skill, he gave you so that you're definitely going to shine. So at one point in time, you're definitely going to shine. So why would you do something so that people start recognizing you. We're not gonna read uh, Chibet publicity stunt, then we know about you, but if you don't have the good music, you see? So as for me, as for me and my family, <laughs> we wanna keep making good music. We're gonna keep making good music. If the music is not good, keep making music till it gets to your ear, till it gets to your ear, till you start listening, to you start liking us, yeah. <laughs> KG40 has a couple of artists whom he thinks are doing it right in the hip-hop circles at the moment. The best hip-hop artists in Zimbabwe at the moment, obviously I can pick a couple. I'm a fan of hip-hop, actually. I'm definitely, I'm a fan of hip-hop. I'm a fan of uh, Cynic, I'm a fan of uh, Metaphysics. I'm a fan of Junior Brown, I'm a fan of Flag Soul. I can mention a lot of people Mao Mao, I'm a fan of Mao Mao. But when it comes to the best uh, hip hop artist, um, I would like to say that it is um, Metaphysics. Why? Because Metaphysics is the only Zim hip hop artist to have a song that's been on the Billboard charts. It's the only. You know, Metaphysics started off with uh, a piece of ebony, and I, uh, the late um, Sean Iso, Keith Ferguson on the, on the boards stuff like that you know i have mad respect for the dude but he's the only zimbabwean uh, who's achieved that so far but when i mention uh, uh they're all good they're all good they're, they're great in their own right but in terms of achievements they've only had probably songs on the charts um probably did a few shows in the uk and but when it comes to real achievements i think that's the greatest achievement so far and you know zero in it. And obviously, man, I'm, I'm, I was tempted to say that I'm, I'm the best hip hop artist there is, man. I mean, yeah. We'll be partying all night till 6 o'clock in the morning. Ah, so yeah. they can fire it. Hey. So they can fire it. 
city was my kind of thing. We be partying all night till six o'clock in the morning. Can't tell me the corner of the song. Now I got you caught up a corner, baby, make me say, oh. I need Teddy to hate the top. They don't walk the top, swerve. Now we take a picture. Taking pictures, I wash your car. Then you got me dancing till it took on get my We got bone night now one round. Cause that's the job of my mission. Welcome back. KG Forte's mother, who happens to be his manager as well, has offered him support from the first day he decided to venture into music. Yeah, I got support from my family. My mom, my mom, she's my manager. I mean, most of the shows that I perform, she goes with me. She, some, she sometimes submits music for me. So yeah, I mean, my, my family, they love, they, they love what I do. That's the reason why I went to the, to, to the School of Music. I mean, it's because they've been supporting me. Yeah. Only good music can make Zim Hip Hop improve. These are KG Fortis words responding to the question on how the genre can improve. Um, what's, what's needed to be done <laughs> um, is to make very good music, man. Make music that people relate to. Um, we all definitely, you know, now they know Zim Dance. They started making music that everyone else related to. When you did that, then they realized, as mm, you started started sick rap, uh, uh, you know, doing it in Shona, and then they said that I would do Imba, and stuff. And you know what? Let's make music that everyone else relates to because um, when music speaks to people, I not any age. Uh, you know, I love this song because they relate to it. So let's make uh, hip hop artists, let's make good music, people that, that music, music that people relate to. Let's, let's not make music for our friends. You know, I have this other um, guy, he's, he's a friend of mine, Kelvin Jagatira. He told me, you know what, dude, don't make music for your friends. Don't just make music for Motari, make music for everybody. You know what I mean? So I'm now making music for everyone. But also at the same time, we also need um, um, to make proper music videos, more and more music videos, so that um, it keeps playing here. You know what I mean? It keeps playing here so that you know, the more the music videos are playing, the music, the music will also be playing. Um, it will make people uh, you know, to, 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 to make to, to make your face, to put your face to the music. So yeah, that's that's what we need to keep doing. But let's make music for the people. Let's not make music for WhatsApp groups. As a way of winding up the show, KG Forty has a few words to fellow artists and his fans. Keep doing what you're doing. As long as you believe in what in what you're doing, that you know that you have the talent. If you have the talent, you're not the one who gave yourself the talent. God is the one who gave you that talent. So make sure you connect with the source, the giver of the talent, so that he takes you somewhere. Don't take shortcuts. <laughs> Don't take shortcuts. Make sure, keep doing what you're doing, man. Connect the passion with God. You definitely get somewhere, believe you me. And to my to um, my so-called fans, because I believe that they are my family. Um, to the 40 Music family out there, thank you very much for, for the requests, for sharing the links. Look at where we are now. Look at it, we're here now. You know what I mean? Thank you very much. I am nothing without you guys. Keep supporting, keep supporting, because I'm one of your own. We are what we are because of who you are. Because of you guys. Yeah. Peace. Put a Nazi J, I'm buzzed up. Tank it up, I put a Nazi my rounds at your stuff gum. Looking fresh, I bet hot as chick on my ass out. Party all night, oh yeah, till dust out. Tip with Jabba, which got tired in bed, I tie this up down south. So my hater, time bit I cool. Watch out. We'll be climbing all night till six o'clock in the morning. We'll be partying all night till six o'clock in the morning. Till the fire hit it. 
Then it goes back on the thing. We be partying all night till six o'clock in the morning. Can't tell me the corner of the song. Now I got you caught up in the corner, baby. Make me say, oh. Daddy, they the hate to talk. They don't walk the talk. Swerve. Now we take pictures. Taking pictures, I wash your car. Then you got me dancing till it took on get mad. We got up all night, now one round. Cause that's the dawn of my mission. Missus, this is us. They know it in my Takashi on the Takura. They can't get the picture. Cause Yaka Jabba camera. We here, it's six o'clock. We are, we are. Haters on haters, levels on levels. She 40 something, then she big mama something. She like the way that I do my thing. Why you sweating, homie? Do your thing. We'll be clubbing all night till six o'clock in the morning. We'll be partying all night till six o'clock in the morning. So